You're tuned in to the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast. I'm your host, Lenore, and we're going to get deep today. So personal development is an investment in our lives. It improves awareness, talent, knowledge, helps create wealth. Essentially, it's everything we do to improve our lives. And it's all about working on our attitudes, learning to really believe in ourselves, and setting goals. That's really, really important. And that's where our guest comes in today. David Richards is a life strategist, speaker on personal development, and number one international best-selling author. His latest book, Lighthouse Keeper, just hit shelves, and it's all about awakening the power of the mind. He'll even give us a glimpse on a new book he's working on. David Richards, welcome to the show. Lenore, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to talk with you. Now, you've done quite a lot in life. Let's go. You are a Marine officer, corporate executive, life strategist, yoga instructor, international best-selling author. you got a lot of titles. What's your secret? Um, it's been a long story. Uh, so, um, but just trying different things out, trying to figure out uh, who I am. I mean, I think that's the path that we're all on is trying to figure out who we are. Uh, in some cases, we follow in footsteps that have been left before us. In some cases, we make our own. Um, and I know now I'm finally to the point where I'm making my own footsteps. So, With all of that, how do you feel with everything that's going on right now with the coronavirus, lockdown, quarantine? You getting a little crazy up in the head like all of us? You know, it's a time for reflection, I think, Lenore. It's, um, it's interesting to see nature from the inside where there's this apprehension about going outside in some ways and it makes you appreciate how beautiful things really are so in many ways i think this has been such an awakening awakening for not only me but for a lot of people and i think we're, we're coming to a higher level of consciousness now you're right i think it's about a lot of the small things i know uh it was a little while ago when it was Earth Day, and I was scrolling through my phone, and I found a picture of myself sniffing a sunflower, because why not? And it was like, you got you to gotta think about the little things in life and really try to appreciate those things. And like you said, while we're kind of cooped up, we realize that maybe sometimes we do take advantage of the smaller things that are out there in life. Yeah, it's, it's really true. I mean, that's, you know, every, every part of life is important. It's not just the parts that we think are important. So it's how do we blend in with everything? How do we work together? And I think that's, you know, uh, I was having a conversation with people and what I've come to realize is people are, there's a strange happiness that's come about because yeah, the quarantine isn't great and, and life isn't the way things were, but life also isn't as bad as I thought it was in some ways. And so it's been, it's been, like I said, just a beautiful awakening to realize wow, right, life really is precious and there's gotta be a message. And, and that's, that's what I've come to appreciate, that the life actually has a message for us. Now, your latest book, The Lighthouse Keeper, just came out. Now, what is it all about, and what is exactly the message you'd like the readers to take away from reading it? Yeah, so The Lighthouse Keeper is, uh, is really my story. Uh, it's the story of a young man um, who leaves home because he doesn't want to continue the family business, uh, and he decides to go to be a lighthouse keeper because it thinks it will offer him adventure and uh, excitement. Um, and it's not what he expects. Uh, the lighthouse keeper himself is a, is a, a strange old man. Um, but through his work there, uh, Sam, the main character actually goes on a journey where the only way he can survive the journey is to master his mind. And so he goes on uh, kind of different seas within his mind. Uh, and the idea is just is simply that your ocean is a mind where all your memories are, all your recollections are, and then uh, your awareness, so where you place your awareness is a lighthouse. Uh, and so he has to learn how to be his own lighthouse keeper. Aside from that book, I know that you're super busy. You like are always having your mind going and rumor has it, you just dropped this book, but have another book already completed? What? You're laughing, I see you <laughs> yeah, laughing. So, you're like, yeah, she um, knows. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, well, yeah, I'm, I'm laughing because I was I was up till two o'clock this morning writing uh, writing the book. Um, yeah, I, I this this book uh, it's called Being. I actually changed it, so this is the first time that I'm publicly announcing the name of it. But uh, uh, it's called Being: The Book of David, uh, and it is uh, Testament of the First Infinity. Um, so it's it's the most fascinating thing, Lenore, that I've ever written or, or read. And, and what I mean by that is, 
Um, in just the span of two months, I understand how creation started. I understand how existence started. I understand the purpose of life. I understand the meaning of life. I understand how time and space work. Um, I understand uh, how to teach perfection in schools. I understand how to teach unconditional love to people. Uh, and this has been through six months of writing this book now five or six times because the book, part of the book wrote me. I, I didn't write the whole thing myself. And I'm not, not joking. If you read the book, you'll see. I acknowledge that someone else helped me write this book because, um, I'm, in fact, I'm just, I'm looking at the book, which is just on the table here in front of me. And what I've, what I found even today, it's so funny. We talked about the lighthouse keeper, the lighthouse keeper, because just about 10 minutes before we got on the line, uh, I was, I, I wrote, I am a lighthouse keeper and I'm awake in my book. Um, and this book isn't supposed to be about the lighthouse keeper, but then I realized it was all about me. So it's been fantastic. Uh, uh, I can't wait until people see this book because, um, this book shapes the future of our entire civilization. Now, when so we can get the Lighthouse Keeper now on your website, which is David Richards uh, author dot com, right? That's correct. Yep. Now, your new book, which would would you say it was again? Because it's like the first time I'm even hearing about what the title is. <laughs> yeah, it's called Being the Book of David, Being the, uh, book the of First David. Infinity. It's test, Testament of the First Infinity. Now, do we have a release date for that? Are you doing uh, like a grand reading? How, how's everything working with the new book? Uh, yeah, so actually, I um, I expect I'll finish the book probably within the next uh, day, certainly. Uh, but on May 17th, uh, time to be determined, I'm going to actually read the book live on Instagram. Uh, I'm going to do it with some close friend, uh, personal friends uh, locally, but uh, but it's because the, the reading is almost like a play in some ways. Uh, there are characters in the book, uh, but they're all obviously beings that I wrote. Um, so I'm going to do it uh, May 7th. You're going to see and hear something that you'll never forget for the rest of your life. Uh, Instagram handle. What is it so we can mark our calendars? Yeah, sure. It's David Richards author. Oh, that's easy. And if you go, if you go out, if you go at David Richards author now, you'll see that I've dropped a lot of kind of hints uh, and, uh, and, interesting pieces about the book some of it's directly in the book some of it's just getting you to think about what the book is about okay so may 17th i'm gonna set a reminder as soon as we're done chatting but what time do we have a time yet i i don't know yet i will post that on instagram as the, the date draws near so i expect uh by that friday or saturday i'll certainly have a date and i'll post that on instagram so uh, everyone can tune in oh so you're gonna keep us on our toes i see And you can reach out to David Richards at davidrichardsauthor.com or David I, I, at David I got to keep things a little bit suspenseful. Got to keep things. Clearly, you're making me here like, hello. Correct. Come on. Come on. Give me a little bit more. Again, David Richards at davidrichardsauthor.com. Uh, you'll find out more information about him. You can purchase all of his books there, The Lighthouse Keeper, as well as your, his previous book, which was Whiskey and Yoga, Find Your Purpose. Remember, set that reminder for May 17th on Instagram Live. We're going to have to like follow you on Instagram to find the time, really keeping the suspense going crazy for the live reading of his brand new book. And it's super top secret. I'm super excited. So, David, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Lenore. It's been a treat. Thank you And so don't much. forget to hit that subscribe button wherever you listen to your podcast and keep up to date on the latest Brand Ambassador Select podcast. I'm your host, Lenore, and that's a wrap.